So the, the millage uh, request that will be on the August uh, primary ballot for four additional road patrol deputies. Um, and what that will accomplish is that will allow us to up our minimum standards on the road patrol from a uh, minimum staffing of two deputies up to a minimum staffing of three deputies. In, in 2013, we had, you know, 2012 and 2013, uh, we had three officer involved shootings here in Mason County. Two were fatal, one involved a law enforcement officer that was killed. And in the 28 years I worked the road prior to being elected sheriff, we never had any, you know? I mean, we, we had some instances where, you know, probably we were lucky, but we didn't have any. And um, uh, times have changed in, in Mason County. And um, uh, I, I, I appreciate the fact that uh, it was a county commissioner that asked if two deputies was enough. And, um, I personally don't think it is enough. I think we should have a minimum of three guys on the road um, because most of the time we only have two guys on the road. And so I appreciated the commissioners asking those tough questions and um, they heard what I had to say and it's the county board's obligation to either move forward with that request or not and they've chosen to move forward in the form of a millage for more road patrol deputies. We've had an increase in um, our officers being assaulted, uh, felony assaults. You know, we, we had five in uh, 2015, and then we had 10 the next year of uh, aggravated assaults on deputies. You know, and I, I think back, uh, I'm, I'm so grateful that uh, a young man came to help Deputy Matt Moss on Stiles Road two years ago. You know, uh, Matt was in a fight that could have ended very, very tragically for him or the guy he was trying to arrest. And, um, you know, that particular day, uh, Matt was in the middle of Stiles Road fighting a person that had fought through a taser deployment, and um, the nearest backup law enforcement officer was a state trooper west of Baldwin. And um, it was probably during that time I realized we, we need to have a, a fresh set, at, a look at what's going on with our, our community and as it relates to law enforcement. And, I, and I'm certainly not saying that we have bad, you know, we, we got the, the public really, really supports law enforcement. I really, truly believe that. And I really, truly believe uh, our community wants law enforcement officers to be safe more than anything else. And so I think it's fair that the public has a say in whether or not two officers is adequate or if three uh, is, is more fitting for this day and age here in Mason County. Um, I've been here 13 years. Um, been working road patrol. For the most part, for 13 years, we've uh, basically worked a two-man crew, uh, which means two guys for the entire county of Mason. It's about 1,200 square miles. Um, like right now, I'm down here in Summit Township patrolling. I uh, just cleared a uh, complaint, and my partner right now is up in Free Soil, uh, and that's it. Uh, we have one state trooper that's working the road right now. Um, but if my partner right now gets in trouble up in Free Soil, my response time to him is it's a good 20 minute lights and siren code run. So the millage it, it'd be huge for us for safety reasons, um, not only for us but for the public. Um, you know, to, to get a couple extra guys on the road to help us out. You know, or like I said, I'm down here at Summit. He's up in Free Soil. You know, if we got a call up in Northern Hamlin right now, you know, you're going to be waiting a while for us to get there. Well, last, I think it was last week, uh, Sergeant Eskew and I were in the Northern Grant Township on a suicidal subject. Um, we were both up there when an incident occurred at uh, MCE schools, uh, which was, it was priority. And, uh, you know, we needed to break free with what we were doing up in Grant Township to try and get to uh, Custer in a uh, timely manner. Um, you know, in a code run, lights and siren, it was 10, 15 minutes before we could get there. And, that was one of those things where we needed to get there now. Um, again, we were up in Grant Township. We had to clear what, what we were doing and then try to get to Custer as soon as possible. And you know, We were making telephone calls to you know, the people waiting for us, letting them know, hey, we're going to be a little bit. We're, we're quite a ways out. We're in North County, um, which they understood, but you know, they didn't like it because they, they were in limbo waiting for us to get to them. And you know, at any time, you know, the complaint in Custer could have went bad very quickly. Um, you know, and you know, with those extra guys, 
you know, it, it was definitely a safety issue in Custer, and with those extra guys, we could have, you know, had guys in Custer within minutes to assist, and instead of having to wait for myself, who was up in Grant Township. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's, it's, you know, this millage is a safety concern for not only, you know, myself and my partner, but it's also a safety concern for, you know, the citizens of the county, you know, kids at school, you know, traffic crashes, you know, you, you could be sitting there for a while before we can get to you because we're, we're short-staffed. You know, you could talk to any deputy here, you've got, and I'm sure we could, you know, each guy could get a hundred instances where, you know, people are just waiting a while because we can't get to you because we're tied up.